Hi everyone and welcome back to Metal Facts episode 12. Uh, today my guest is really special. It's Charles, the guitar player from Mayhem. Welcome man, nice to see you. Nice to see you too, been a while now. Yeah, it's been like uh, seven years, I think it was back to 2015. I think that was the last time we did the tour in the US. Yes. yes. With Watain. Yeah. Wow. Okay. That went fast. Lots of ups and downs since then, <laughs> I guess. Yeah, a few, yeah. A few. Yeah. <laughs> okay, let's go with the first question of the day. So, how old are you? Okay, thank you. Straight in with you the You look brutality. really young. I'm 24, uh, uh, 20, <laughs> 25 uh, in the... 25-ish. Yeah. Yeah, no, I'm a uh, fuck. I'm old as shit now. I'm tw uh, 41 now. 41. Yeah. I I I, I wouldn't say old as shit. My brother's like 42. He's not very happy to say that. For me, <laughs> or I you never thought I would live past 30. You know, so what? I don't know. Just bad, bad lifestyle and. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Back or, in back or, in those days. Or accidents. Yeah. Or whatever. You know. Okay. Okay. So, how many years you have been playing guitar? It's hard to say exactly, but it's got to be, wow, 25 years or something? 25 years? Something like that. Did you have any breaks in between or it was just 25 Not really, no. Straight? No, I mean, I, I was in the, because I started relatively late, you know, mm. I started 15, 16 or something. Myself. So I always had this sense of, of having to make up time, you know. Uh -huh. So I, in the first years I was just playing it's all I did. So, you, you really? Know, all the time, it's hours, you know, 10, 12 hours a day. It was literally, that was all I was doing for two or three years. Did you practice mostly or you, you was just jamming? And uh, it was both, but it was practice. It was pretty scheduled. I think after a, a while, I realized that I had to be a little bit methodical about it, mm. you know? So actually it was, it was, it was, um, yeah, it was kind of practice, practice. Okay. Know? Okay. You know? In yeah. fact, if anything, I think I neglected the artistic side mm. for a while. Yeah, I did myself too. Yeah. I found it really hard to go on and off with that. Yeah. You're practicing too much, then you, yeah. you forget a little bit to be an artist. You can, yeah, you can become really good at practicing, which is what I did, you know, <laughs> where, and then you, you kind of lose the, the, yeah, the art behind it. You lose mm. the point of what music is. And so that's something that later I, I started to discover more. Once you've got the techniques under your fingers, then you need to just focus on on creating expressing it. and yeah. yeah doing something with it that's that's musical mm. have you ever tried any other instrument besides that yeah absolutely i tried uh, violin for a while that didn't work out because it's well it's extremely difficult yeah and, how much do you mean it for a while like a year i am um, not that long i think it was quite apparent quite fast that mm. it was you know i didn't have the time to dedicate to it and even if i did i was never going to be good <laughs> enough to make it worth it so at, yeah, at, at what age was that? Oh, that was that was like I don't know, twenty, twenty-one, something okay. like that. Because I was really interested in violin music because it, it it correlates quite heavily with certain types of lead guitar. There's there's yeah. definite similarities. Yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. the guitar is like the lead instrument of mm -hmm. a of a of a band, of a band and the yeah. violin is kind of the lead instrument of an orchestra. So mm. there's some you know there's crossovers, but. Yeah, that was never going to happen. And uh, yeah, I played around with a bit of banjo, and I can play some keyboards, but only enough to compose, not to, to really. Not to play, I started you know? learning now okay. myself some chords. I'm like, it's really good for understanding music, for mm. understanding the mechanics and the and the um, the sort of beating heart of 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 the mechanics of music, but. Yeah, again, I'll never be good enough to perform with it. It's yeah, just, yeah, yeah. It, it's, I, 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 get what, I get what you mean, but, you know, it, it helps for the perspective on how to write music. How Absolutely, to, yeah, and just to see to see the music very plainly in front of you, the, mm. the theory and the, and the harmony and everything working, you can see it very clearly on a keyboard, much more so, I think, than, than any other instrument. And I realized that as soon as I started singing, I, I found out that my uh, songwriting change because then I had to create something that would be better for the singer. Well, so it, 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 it wouldn't, uh, it, it wasn't only about myself. Absolutely. It, it, it becomes more like a team. But thing. actually you write better, especially melodically, you write much better if you think of it in terms of a breathing uh, patterns and, uh, you know, like, yeah, uh, because it's just so, it's more natural to the human ear. So especially if you're writing for wind instruments or brass instruments, mm -hmm. you'd always be understanding how it works with the breath because that's it, it just it's sort of intrinsically a more natural experience for people to hear melodies that can be sung mm -hmm. 
I read that you were to to London to a guitar institute. Yeah, that's right. So that's true, right? Yeah. Well, yeah how many exactly. years was that? Like four or five. That years? was three years. Three that years. was a, a, de- a degree uh, in. It was a bachelor of arts. Ah, oh, it wasn't just guitar. It was. Ju- ju- yeah, general. it was focused around guitar, but yeah, it was. It was not co- just it was, Yeah, it was more inclusive of, of uh, yeah the music in general. Okay. Uh, 2005, mm-hmm. you joined Cradle of Filth. Yes, I did. That's something that I read that you had to jump right in. Yep. Is that true? Yeah, it was. Uh, I was in a guitar lesson. I was teaching and uh, got a phone call basically just asking, do you play bass? That's <laughs> <laughs> not not really. I mean, of course, every guitarist can play bass yeah. to, a, to a degree. And it's not easy to play Cradle of Filth songs, I think. In bass. Well, it's, it's not when you're more. not a bass player and you've got like three weeks to learn it all. Um, and, you know, the biggest shows that I'd done up to that point had been small clubs and pub level stuff, you know, and then suddenly, actually, fun fact, Uh my first show was here. Well, not in this venue, but in Athens. Really? Yeah. Um, And that was, yeah, like 2,000 people, I think, or 1,500, something like that. So that was a big learning curve. Yeah. Very, very, very steep. And... Did you have any uh, practice routine or a strategy where you have to learn too many songs that you may not fully learn, know them, knew them before, and then you have to... Now I do, but then I didn't. Then it was just panic. Oh, that was just <laughs> a, adrenaline, you know, carrying... Yeah, exactly. 20 hours straight, yes. Yeah, yeah, it was, that was absolutely how it was then. But now I have... I, I, the thing is, as you become more experienced as a musician, your, your storage space in your brain gets bigger and mm. faster uh, yeah, as yeah, well. Yeah, yeah. So you can memorize songs much quicker you know than you could previously but uh yeah that was that was a very very scary very <laughs> extreme challenge and it, which i almost didn't take on because i felt it was too much you know but of course that was a, a fork in the road in my life yeah. because if i hadn't taken it who knows what where, where so that been. was the point where your life changed and you saw that okay i can do that it, this can be, yeah, opportunity. this can be a pathway for sure. You know, the thing with, with, especially with music, but with any arts really, the likelihood of success is so infinitely small that most people will tell you not to even try it. Yeah. You know, no careers advisor in school is saying, <laughs> yeah, you know what you should do is try to be in a, in a metal band and, you, you know, <laughs> That's the, that just is not, yeah. and, and rightly so, because it actually, it's incredibly unlikely that you'll succeed. You need to work really hard. You need a certain amount of good fortune as well, you know. Um, it's it's a massive gamble. To, okay, to, because to, that yeah. was my question. What? How much do you think that it was up to you? Because as you said, it was just one moment where you made the, that decision to go and do that. Yeah. Do you think that I'm a kind of person that no matter how many fails I'll get to, you know, I'll try more and try mm-hmm. more, and I eventually, you know, get to the point that I do what I want to do, but. It, 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 was that the point that if you said no to Cradle of Filth, you would do something differently? No. Would I would, you be again in the music industry as a musician, I mean, on stage? I think I, would have, I think I would have kept pushing for sure. Okay. Yeah, I, 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 I can't imagine. I mean, at some point, I suppose there would have been the, the sense that, like, okay, this is not going to be my life, and mm. to, you know, to move in a different direction. But at that point in my life, for sure, I would have, I would have, uh, yeah, been continuing to look for other ways to, to do it. To, to do, do it. it. Yeah. Okay. Awesome. Awesome. Did you have any mentors or people that you were looking up to, but people that knew knew them, but not just people that like idols or stuff like that? I suppose. I mean, the reason I I got into the music and especially this kind of music really was because of my brother. But that wasn't so much. I mean, he was a bass player and stuff, but it was more just to. I don't know. I just thought he was a bit, a bit, quite a bit older than me, and I just thought it was cool, you know. So it was like a mentor. So you were the younger the, guy. Yeah, I was kind of idolizing a bit him. in that way. Yeah. Um, so, so that it was, was an inspiration for you. Yeah, him. exactly. So that was kind of, I suppose, a big part of my uh, the, the reason I ended up particularly in this scene. Of course, I was always attracted to this more sort of dark side of things. Mm. So I probably would have discovered it eventually, but but it was definitely how I ended up there. But in terms of idols and people I looked up, you know. One thing I realized, I suppose relatively recently, is the best thing that you can do, especially as an artist, is to just try to find idols everywhere. And what I mean by that is, 
anyone else around you who's successful and doing well, obviously don't tell them this, but idolize them a bit in the sense that look at how they are. Look at how they could, what do they do with their day? How do they function? How do they approach their work? You know what I mean? Try, yeah. try to, try to extract the essence of why they're so good or why it is that you look at them and think this is somebody and who the I, persona they yeah, put out precisely, and how they yeah. feel and how they, they, they walk inside a room. Exactly. See, it's really precisely. Different. Yeah. So I think that when it comes to idolizing, when you're young, you find these idols, you see them in magazines, you see them. But as you get older, I think you should try to find them all around you all the time, you know, mm. in, in, in small packets. You just see people and think, why, what's so great about this person? Why is this person so likable? Or why is this person so successful? Those two things don't always go together, of course. Yeah. <laughs> you know, Most of the time, especially in this In, in this industry, for yeah, sure, yeah. It doesn't go hand no, in hand. But they can do. And that's a, then it's really something special, you know. But yeah, so I think in that way, I suppose I try to just find people around me all the time to, to take something. So it, it wasn't that you were caring about, uh, okay, I, I, I want to look like, like this guy, like Malmsteen for, uh, for no, example, something like that. No, no, it was like overall no. thing. It wasn't, it was like yeah, more I, as, a, as a personality. I think I got over that sort of thing quite young. Um, I, everyone goes through that phase, you know, which is a really important part of development and mm. of growth where you see people and you think, I want to be like that. Yeah. Yeah. But, but, but yeah, that's something that passed quite fast. And I think really later and, and certainly now it's more about seeing aspects of, of people, uh, things about their playing or about their personality or whatever. And I think that's something I could learn from that, you know, that's something that I should be focusing on or mm. you know, I should think about myself you know awesome man that's about it man thank right. you so much for your time have a great show tonight hope so i'll see you later <laughs> yeah I, i i hope people will get something really good out of that I hope because so. yeah you know I, I, you went really deep in some things so well that's really good i think with this with this kind of job it's really important that people understand that Uh, it's 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 a complicated business and a complicated lifestyle to be part of. It's not like a pop nonstop party, and it, it's, it's, <laughs> there's a lot of inner stuff that goes on. You know, it's a it, it can be quite a challenging, soul destroying experience at times. So it's yeah. It's, so many times people are looking for a one key word, and they think that what's the what's the yeah. secret? That it's complicated. Yeah, I mean, half you the, go by the day. Half the internet is based around people selling you. Like, here's the one key to being rich or being famous or being yeah, happy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course, it doesn't work like that. Awesome. Thank you so much, man. Thank you for the time.